Today, we are one step closer to a future where every LGBTQ person can live their lives free from the fear of discrimination. Proud to be an original co-sponsor of this legislation. This is it. This is who we want to vote for. These are the people in the hijabs. No, I'm, I'm joking. This is not how I plan on starting the video. Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video. Um, uh, I, you've probably seen this tweet sort of floating around the interweb recently. And uh, I just want to I just want to make it very, very clear um, that this tweet is from the 25th of February, but a lot of people are posting it now. I got it in like some WhatsApp groups and all that. And I'm just like, man, like, if, if you know, if you really want to be on top of these legislations and acts, you know, why are you posting it two weeks later? I mean, what's the point of getting upset now? But what are you upset about? What are we upset about exactly? Uh, that a Muslim or a hijabi Muslim is supporting these people? Is that how you want to look at LGBTQ people? Like these people, they're supporting them? I mean, let me ask you a question. If you saw someone getting beat up because they were homosexual, like they were getting discriminated against or bullied because they were homosexual, uh, would you interject? Would you stop them and be like, nah, that's karma. That's what you get. Yeah, help them. Beat them up more. Would you, would you do that? Maybe you would. Maybe there's some people who would. Maybe some people would. I personally would not. I personally would not. I would stop the issue. And I would defend their, their, their person as in they shouldn't be mocked or made fun of because of their 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 choice. And here's what I mean by choice. I don't mean that if you're someone who believes that God made you this way, well, I can't convince you of anything otherwise. So why am I trying to change your mind? If you believe that, you believe that. If God made you this way, no problem. Um, you know, if someone wants to say that, oh, you're making a choice, that's that's them. All I know is that I have to be responsible for my choice. That when Allah questions me on the day of judgment that I saw someone getting oppressed what did I do about it the first thing you thought about was it an LGBTQ member were they gay that they don't deserve your help don't we do that to homeless people if homeless person looks like they're drunk I'm not going to help them I'm not going to support them or maybe we don't even give to a non-Muslim homeless person or or homeless person in general because oh they might buy alcohol with it and drugs with it is that your first impression is that what you think well I think that there's a huge bias there's a problem within the Muslim community if that's what we truly truly believe um I don't know. I, I don't see myself personally if someone is... I don't believe someone should have to be discriminated against. I know what that feels like as a Muslim. I know what that feels Oh, SQ, are you supporting LGBTQ too now? Huh? SQ, is that what you're doing now? Huh? Making the hal haram halal? Is that what you're doing now? If it's, that's how some weak-minded people want to think, go ahead. Go ahead. I cannot control how people or what people do or what they, what choices they make with their sexual orientation. I cannot control that. But what I can control is my interactions with them. How I interact, how I behave with them, how I speak to them, how I treat them. Those are all important qualities that I as a Muslim have to practice. Oh, sorry. Does that mean that I'd attend uh, their celebrations, their Eids? You know, the Pride Day Parade is like an Eid for you know those who are uh, identifying under the banner of LGBTQ. Would I attend their Eid celebration? No, I wouldn't. Um, the same way I don't expect them to attend my Eid celebrations, you know. But do I expect them to respect my Eid celebration? Sure. Do I have to respect theirs? I guess so. What does that mean? What does it mean to respect someone? Oh, that means you're supporting it? You're promoting them as cute? What, should we, what, what do you want to do? You want to like go in there and get like gas and light them up on fire? Like what the hell is wrong with you? Are you the Joker from Batman? Like what's wrong with you? Like, are you, have you lost your mind? Like, what do you, want, what do you want to do? They're doing that. Okay, you want to go give them dawah? I think that's a good idea. Giving out some leaflets and pamphlets. Not about how homosexuality is wrong and this and that. Let's talk to the inner person. Let's talk to them inside. Like, what's going on? What's going on? I mean, just because you, you know, come out the closet or you celebrate your sexual orientation, has that relieved you from your pain and your turmoil and your, and your harm that you've been feeling? Has that, has that alleviated anything for you? If the answer is no, that means there's something deeper. It's not about your sexual orientation. It's not about uh, things that are in this dunya. There's something else that our heart is missing. Iman. Something, it's a connection. Our, our heart has spiritual food. 
And when it's not getting its spiritual food, i.e. salah, i.e. the Qur'an, i.e. the connection with Allah, it's going to find other places to get its comfort from. And they're all going to be fake and false masters where it gives you comfort for a little bit, but then it's just not doing it for you anymore. I've been through it before uh, where I relied on things to get me comfort. It's, it's not happening. So I respect their celebration. What does it mean to respect their celebration? Giving them the space to do it? Sure. I mean, safely? Like, should you do it? Should you be harassed? Should you be harassed for that? But, you know, excuse me, so you're supporting LGBT? No, I, I don't agree with its, from my religious perspectives and religious beliefs, I don't believe it's the correct thing to do as a Muslim. As a Muslim, I do not believe the act of going and having sexual relations with the same gender is something permissible. But if someone feels attracted to the same gender, I cannot stop them from feeling that way. Nor can I stop them from acting upon it. The only thing that can stop them from acting upon it is taqwa. It's consciousness of Allah. That's the only thing that could stop them or help them or deter them. I don't know. I, I don't have the answers for you, Sway. That's just what it is right now. But all I can tell you is that they deserve safety. Right, like I, I, I don't want to see someone harassed on the street because of that. The same way, I would hate to see a hijabi sister harassed on the street. I, I might not agree with the choices that you would make, and, and the act as a Muslim, as a practicing Muslim, something I don't agree with because my faith teaches me otherwise. But it also teaches me to respect your values and beliefs, even if it goes against mine. Even though my values and beliefs are supreme to me. I have a bias towards them because I believe that this is the correct thing to do. Islam is the right path. And, and I, I can't stop you from having those, 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 that attraction to the same gender. I can't do that. Nor am I in a position to argue whether you feel that you know, Allah has made you this way or not. I'm not in any position to do that whatsoever. Um, the only thing that can stop you from acting upon it, upon your, 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 your desires is the fear of Allah. I mean, isn't that what stops you from acting upon your desires? You have desires to do certain things that are haram. Right? What stops you from doing it? Taqwa, I hope. Or do we fall into that sin? But then do you just give up? Or do we say for them, ah, they can repent. Oh, astaghfirullah. What about those who are falling into sin and acting upon uh, the homosexuality? Acting upon it. Not, 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 feeling that you're attracted to the same gender if that's what you want bismillah that's on you you answer to allah not to me right but as my values if you want to have a conversation with me we can but i'm not i'm not in control of anyone we can't control what people do we can respect it at the same way we expect respect we expect to be respected for our beliefs and values you shouldn't be stopping us from wearing the niqab in france right what's the lgbtq situation over there how is it that you should you know, have rights for everyone but for the Muslims? Let's bring up these conversations. I think Ilhan does a really nice job at bringing up the Uyghurs. She talks about them, right? She's mentioned them. She talks about the Palestinians as well too. But you might be like, that's cute, but she's also uh, condemning them and saying this. I don't know the politics. I'm a simple guy. I'm a simple person. I'm, I'm in a classroom right now. I'm not trying to teach you. I'm a student myself. But I will tell you this though. As a Muslim, our values teach us to protect people. They need, people need protection and people need to be respected for believing whatever they need to believe in, right? But can we give them dawah? I think that's fair. Can we help people? I think that's fair by, by showing them a different way, a different path, a path that's more pure, a path that's more, more straight. But who are you, SQ, to say your path is the best path? That's what my Islamic beliefs teach me, right? Someone knock on my door. If my, if my student came and said that they were gay, oh, is that what you want me to do? Or should I not still nurture them as a teacher? Should I still not nurture their, our relationship and just hold it sacred? I learned about this driver that we had in Ghana, Ghana, Africa, Christian brother. We spoke about Islam like two years ago and just in the car, just talking to him and all the good works that he does with Muslims already and having a conversation with me. I just got told today that he accepted Islam. Bro, you don't know how people can be or where they're going to end up or how they're going to turn out. You know, everyone deserves dawah. LGBTQ deserves dawah. They deserve, they, everyone has a missing connection with Allah. 
Everyone deserves to have some type of help in that regard. And you know, maybe from developing of taqwa and consciousness of Allah, maybe they stop the acts that are displeasing to Allah. Why should someone stop something when they don't feel like it's displeasing Allah, when they don't care who Allah is? Isn't it more concerning for us to help a person care about Allah? Don't we commit sins? Don't we commit you know, major sins, but we repent? We repent. Why can't someone who's committed a, a, a injustice against themselves, why can't they repent? Why can't they turn it around? Yes, they can. They can. Has Allah shut off His mercy to them? Are you saying that He has? Are you saying? He has not. He has not shut down their mercy. But it's our job to educate people. It's our job to help people. Help people see the right path and everything like that. I just don't know if her way is the best way of doing it. I don't know if my way is the best way of doing it. Um, but I can tell you this, that I have to answer to Allah for everything that I've said and everything I've done. The same way that you have to answer to Allah for everything that you've said and you've done. But I just don't think that you know, saying threats to her or nasty comments or really rude comments about this and that. I just don't think that's the way to give her dawah. Is it not possible Ilhan needs some dawah? And she needs some help as well too? Is it not, isn't that possible? She needs some good counselors and advisors? Not Muslims who are selling out because there are Muslims that are on the team who are supporting this and selling out. Joe Biden's not even recognizing the Uyghurs. They just want to throw the Olympics in 2022. And there's Muslims who support him, support him, rallying behind him. But look what he's saying about the Uyghurs. That's not right. You know, but everyone is trying to suit their agenda. We need to remember to fear Allah first and foremost. That's what we need to remember. The, the number one thing is the more we fear Allah, the more successful we will be. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Um, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, I guess. Uh, but until next time, I'm out.